Good morning, this is your media report for Monday, September 22nd, 2014. I'm Sergeant Jay Henderson, Media Relations Officer for the St. John Police Force. This video is going to outline newsworthy events that transpired over the weekend from Friday, September 19th, up until this morning at 6 a.m. We ask and encourage anyone that may have information that can assist us in any of our investigations to please contact us by phone at 506-648-3333 at our email police at stjohn.ca or if you wish to do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477 or on their website at crimenb.ca. To recap the weekend's calls, Friday the St. John Police Force responded to 126 calls for service. On Friday, we responded to two reported car break-ins out east. Uh, the first was reported to us at 7.33 a.m. at an address off of Wilton Street, where a small amount of money, as well as power tools, were taken from within the vehicle. The second incident occurred at an address off of Foley Court, where a GPS unit was stolen. Both incidents were believed to have occurred over Thursday night into early Friday morning. Our investigation is continuing with these thefts. At 10.36 a.m., we responded to a motor vehicle collision involving a single vehicle being a dump truck and some power lines. The preliminary investigation reveals that the operator of this dump truck failed to lower the hydraulic dump, which caught nearby power lines causing significant damage to the lines and the power poles. No injuries were reported to the police as a result of this collision, and our investigation is continuing. At 2.57 p.m. Friday afternoon, we arrested a 13-year-old male student from a Westside school who was found in possession of marijuana by school staff. He has since been released to his guardians with conditions that include a youth court appearance to answer to the approved charge of illegal possession of the drugs. At 10.54 p.m. Friday night, we responded to an alarm call at a residence off of Boarshead Road area in Milledgeville. A residence was found to have been the victim of a break and enter. Our uniformed cars quickly set up a perimeter and with the assistance of a canine unit, two males ages 19 and 20 have been arrested and are facing break and enter charges in connection with this incident. Both males remain in custody, expecting to make a provincial court appearance later today to answer to the approved charges. On Saturday, the St. John Police Force responded to 93 calls for service. At 3.48 p.m., we responded to a fight on the Wall Street overpass, which involved three males and one female who was carrying a baby. The caller advised our dispatch that one of the males was in possession of a knife and was swinging it at the time. Our uptown units responded to this call and arrested a 19-year-old male who is now facing several charges that include common assault, obstructing a peace officer, and several weapons-related charges. He has since been released from custody with a provincial court appearance of December 2nd, 2014 to answer to the approved criminal charges. At 11.56 p.m., we conducted a vehicle traffic safety stop on Prince William Street, where our officers noticed a vehicle heading the wrong direction on Prince William Street, which is a one-way street. As a result of this vehicle stop, a 20-year-old male driver was arrested and is facing criminal charges of impaired driving and failing the breathalyzer. He has since been released on conditions with a mandatory driver's license suspension and a provincial court date to answer to the approved criminal charge. On Sunday, the St. John Police Force responded to 85 calls for service. Early Sunday morning at 2.33 a.m., we received a report of a possible impaired driver and a description of this vehicle, which was aired to all of our patrol units. A Western Patrol car noticed a vehicle matching this description at a drive through restaurant and as a result approached the operator and placed him under arrest for impaired driving. A 41-year-old female is facing criminal charges of impaired driving and refusing the breathalyzer. Her vehicle has since been towed by us and she has since been released on conditions that include a man mandatory driver's license suspension and a future provincial court appearance to answer to the approved criminal charges. Yesterday afternoon, we took several reports of vehicles that had been broken into in the Glen Falls area in East St. John. These vehicles were broken into between Saturday night and early Sunday morning. Taken in these car prowls were money, electronics, and wallets. We would like to remind the public of the Lock It and Pocket program, which can be viewed on our website. Never leave valuables unattended in your car, and also lock the vehicle and take the keys with you at all times. And lastly, to report, at 11.28 a.m., we took a report of a stolen 2007 Kawasaki KLX dirt bike and a Norco Sasquatch mountain bike that was stolen from a garage off of Elba Boulevard over West St. John. These bikes were taken sometime overnight from Saturday into early Sunday morning. Our investigation is continuing.
And this will end your media report for Monday, September 22nd. Have a great day and be safe.